गुड मॉर्निंग गाइस इट्स मी सौरभ यादव टुडे वी बी डिस्कसिंग हाउ टू स्टोर थ्री फोर्टी कैस इन बायो फॉर डी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ आई आई सिक्योर नाइन्टी सिक्स पॉइंट टू परसेंटेज इन डोज इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू एंड आई क्लियर के पी वाई एस ए एंड माई एक्सपेक्टेड स्कोर फॉर नीट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इज सिक्स सिक्सटीन टू सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स एज अकॉर्डिंग टू वेरियस आंसर कीज बाई As you have seen in 2022, uh, the paper was comparatively tough as compared to 2020 and 2021. So there were more assertion, re- assertion, reason type questions, and uh, speech statement based questions. So for that, uh, although they were all NCERT based, but it was a little tricky this time. So the major point that you have to remember is that you have to do the NCERT two to three times at least. As per my personal experience, I'll say I have read uh, NCERT six to seven times in my uh, journey of two years, eleventh and twelfth. Okay, and uh, the other point is that you have to solve at least hundred to one fifty MCQs per chapter, but it may vary with chapter to chapter. Like for example, evolution. Evolution is a very uh, uh, in itself it's a very uh, diverse chapter, so it has many flow charts. So you have to practice the di- uh, diversity of questions. in a in uh, get hold of the chapter perfectly okay so uh, this is not valid for all chapters like you have for evolution i'll say you have to practice at least 200 to 300 mcqs uh by practicing these many mcqs you will be sure that you will do any question that comes in the paper okay for like example in living world that chapter is although it's important but it's it does not have that much of content It is moreover a uh, fact based. Like there are some lines of NCERT which are asked often. So like around fifty to hundred MCQs are fine. Okay, and the other point is that you have to follow any one coaching only. So for example, you can take subscription or you can join any one coaching and religiously follow its modules and uh, whatever the notes they are making. Okay. So uh, like I'll tell about myself. Like in eleventh, I used to follow like. Alan and Akash, but uh, uh, and it was very difficult for me to cope up with both of the coaching. Like I have, I had modules of both, but uh, I started sticking to Akash after uh, I came in twelfth. So you should not do that mistake of uh, jumping on from one coaching modules to another, and that might uh, waste a lot of time. Like you are reading the same content in both the things, but what is the point in reading the same content twice? when you have the notes and modules of one coaching so that's about all this point and uh, the last point is very crucial and uh, it is it is the key point like you have to give as many practices mock test so do not miss any test of your coaching uh, either it's part test or it's full syllabus test uh, according to me you have to give a uh, full syllabus test uh, as soon as you have completed the syllabus like uh i started giving uh, full syllabus test uh, one one and a one one point five to one month ago uh, before the neat exam okay so uh, almost you have to try to give almost uh, one mock test every day and if possible try to give two mock tests i know it will be a little tiring but at the end it will uh, help you cope up with the stress on the exam day okay this is all about the video thank you